Hi everyone, uh, just an update video really um, and I'm going to just talk about bioactive, what it means and how the bioactivity is working in this enclosure. So I set this up, um, it's been nearly two weeks now, it's Friday today, I set it up on the Monday, so next Monday it'll be two weeks. And Mr. Jinx moved in on Monday, just gone. So he's been in nearly a week and he's already settling in really well. He's feeding um, and doing all the typical gecko -y stuff, hiding in the day. He's still in his uh, sleep hide now. He likes his warm hide over in the corner there. Okay, so bioactive. Now what does bioactive mean? Well, basically, it's a term used to uh, describe a self-sustaining ecosystem um, which has live organisms, so like what we call a cleanup crew, um, which live in the substrate, so under the leaf litter, under the leaf litter, in the soil. Um, and they work to keep the ecosystem alive. So they break down the um, leaf litter into like, they use that to sort of hide and uh, feed themselves and break it down into like a sort of a mulch, which can be used on the, to feed the life, the live plants. Um, so basically there's a purpose with everything in this enclosure. So the live plants obviously um, absorb some of the humidity whilst also giving off some humidity. So it kind of regulates a bit of humidity. Also providing some areas, um, humidity pockets, so that when it comes to shedding, uh, the gecko has a natural humid area to shed um, underneath the plants. That's the idea. I haven't seen him shed yet in here. But basically I'll give these plants a really good watering once a week or once a fortnight. And I, I give a little mist, a spray mist in the morning, just a light mist. It's all it needs. Um, <clears throat> and that creates obviously a moist area. Um, for the gecko to have as a humid hide, uh, which obviously is essential for them to shed properly. Um, now, so obviously the plants, so their roots obviously uh, settle in this soil. Um, they draw in the nutrients and the minerals from the soil whilst also fixing energy into the soil. Um, so it's kind of like a, a recycling sort of system, really. Um, and the live food that I give to the lizard, so for example, mealworms, crickets, locusts. I put a few in last night and he doesn't catch them all, but that's not a problem because then they will go on to... Uh, inhabit the system as well. So they become part of the system. So here we have obviously a hopper and a cricket. Now they feed, they can feed off this sedge grass, which is here. So there's me thinking, oh, I need to uh, trim down that grass eventually. Um, yes, a little bit, but also these guys feed off the grass. And I noticed this field cricket here actually slicing some of the grass off and feeding from it. Um, I also put a bit of uh, vegetable scraps in as well. So here we have a bit of pok choy and a bit of cucumber just to sort of provide the cleanup crew with a bit of food. And also the gecko can drink from the moisture from the cucumber as well. Um, 
and also the uh, the insects can as well. So it's all the idea of this bioactive is to create that natural ecosystem where everything works to support each other. So the bugs will feed off the um, plants and whatever other things they can find in there. Obviously I gut load them before putting them in and obviously I dust them in calcium or uh, vitamin dust. Um, and then eventually, obviously, when the gecko eats them, he's getting all the nutrients inside him as well. So, uh, and then through his poop, that gets eaten by the cleanup crew in underneath the matter. And we do have a bit of cleanup crew going on here. So if I just lift this up here, this is his water dish. And underneath there, we can already see um, some microorganisms breaking down the matter. And this is kind of a cool thing I worked out the other day. I, uh, rather than using a traditional water dish, I thought I'd make use of this pod. Um, so I fill it up and then slowly it drains through. So it kind of leaks very slowly into the substrate below. And this process is good for obviously giving the soil a little bit of moisture. We've got a bit of fungus developing there as well. That's nothing to worry about, not a problem at the moment. It's all natural or bioactive. So yes, the water slowly feeds from this pod and goes into the uh, substrate underneath, providing nutrients for the, uh, the microorganisms which once it's broken down it can be used as a mulch for the plants which provides them with nutrients so there's an example of how just a simple thing i just fill this up uh, usually once a day or once every two days i wait for it to uh, to go down a little bit because it can get a bit stagnant if it's there for too long and then what i do is i um pour the leftover water onto the plants to feed them. So uh, so that's that's sort of one example of utilising what's already in there within the system without having to add in external stuff, if that makes sense. Um, the idea with this, obviously there will, you know, the, there has to be some level of external input um, but it's like in the natural world, you know, everything in nature has a purpose. Um, so that's what we're trying to create in this uh, setup here. And even though it's been less than a week of him moving in, I can see clearly that the system is already working and he is very happy at the moment in there and thriving which is just fantastic to, to, to witness. Um, what else was I going to say now? So yeah, this leaflet, the, the leaflet uh, bits of old sphagnum moss, there's some cork back in there as well. Bit of everything, bit of soil, bit of coconut husk. Um, this is his humid zone here. Um, and it's a perfect sort of setup really for creating that little sort of little pockets of humidity. Um, and also that sedge grass under there is a great place um, for him to hide under and also shed when it's moist. The shrine there, that was uh, meant to be a humid hide. I did put some sphagnum moss in there, but it will have all dried up by now. And it's, uh, I could put a bit of water in but I don't actually think I need to. It's there for decoration and it's also one of the hides that I can use uh, to retreat to. But the insects feed off the plants that are in there. I noticed this hopper was on his snake plant earlier 
Um, and I noticed he pooped as well. So again, it's like that sort of uh, recycling process. Um, the uh, the insects eat the food provided in the enclosure, and then the outputs from the insects is the inputs into the soil, and it's regenerating, which creates that thriving environment. So it all seems to be working so far, which I'm really, really pleased about. Um, so yeah, so that's just a little update for you all. And um, feel free to sort of comment, any questions, just fire away and subscribe to my channel. Um, and thank you guys for watching.